So your decision to be behind the camera as well, I mean, did you always want to just be in front of the camera or that was just never part of the big goal? The big goal was just to make as many movies as you could. I started out as an actor, actually. So um, I grew up studying acting. I, um, I would study performances like Brando on the Waterfront and, and you know, all the ones I could watch. You know, my, my father and me shared that. Uh, back when I was a kid, showing me performances and talking about acting, and I always wanted to be an actor. And I actually, I, I tried out for a play when I was in sixth grade, and I didn't get it apart. My sister got the a good part in it, and then uh, I had extreme stage fright uh, when it came to auditioning. And then I auditioned for a play, I think, when I was uh, a sophomore in high school, and I didn't get it either. And then I eventually auditioned for a play again when I was a junior in high school, and she took a chance on me because uh, my auditioning skills weren't that great. And um, I got the play, uh, and once I finally did it, I, I kind of soared. Um, they ended up naming an award after me my first year acting in the high school, and they hand it out every year now, called the A Ward Award, uh, back at my little high school, Glide High School. And, uh, and then the next following year, I got Best Actor, you know, and uh, I was competing against all these guys that were acting since they were freshmen, and I, I just kind of came in and, and did my thing. But we would sell out every night, you know, um, which was really cool, 300-seater. And uh, most people, I can't say most people, one of the comments of the director, she would do a speech to the, all the actors, and she came back one, it's, it's still one of the best comments I've ever gotten, compliments I've gotten in my career. She gave the speech to all the actors, and then everybody left, and she said, Adam, just do what you do, you know because a lot of people were out there just to see you. Um, and it was fun, it was fun times. We were doing comedies and I felt like I had them eating out of my hand, you know, just making them laugh and stuff. And comedy always came natural to me. It's one of the reasons why I've made comedy films now. And uh, I think I started, I always wanted to direct too, of course, but it started with a love for acting. And then I think I start. I went to directing sooner than later because I realized the auditions I were getting in weren't good enough to get to where I wanted to be. Um, <clears throat> so a lot of the directing I do now is motivated by my acting in it. Um, and right now I'm actually hired to write a script and direct a movie which I might not end up acting in. Um, but I do, I do love directing, but I think a lot of my movies will be because I want to play this character so I will then direct it and you know, they kind of feed each other my motivations as a director and as an actor, so. Sorry, have you already written the script? I'm writing the script now. Um, <clears throat> um, it's about a book um, called Catch the White Tiger. Uh, it's a book that came out and the, the guy who wrote the book, Tony Asali, wanted me really to do a movie. And I said, well, I can't make a movie without a script. So then he hired me to write a script. And uh, ultimately wants to hire me to direct the movie too, which I think will be made in the next couple of years. I, you know, I, uh, I don't have a time restraint on it. I just, it's when it's right, you know. We want to make a movie that's, it's going to be a biopic drama movie, so it's going to be a lot bigger than, than Wally. -E. Um, and we're going to go from the 60s, 70s, 80s. So, I mean, it's, it's going to have a lot, um, a lot of work. And I think it's going to, we're going to shoot in Beirut as well as in the United States. So, it's going to be a huge undertaking, and um, part of that is by not rushing and, and first is making the script what it needs to be, because it could go in a lot of different directions. You know, you have a lot of different morals and themes in a movie. Uh, <clears throat> you know, it could be inspiring or it could be a drama and a downer. I mean, you can make it in so many different directions on what you want to do. Um, so we have to make those choices and, and figure out what's the. He has a 400-page book I have to make into a 120-page script or whatever. And uh, what parts of his life do I leave out? What parts of his life are important uh, for the story that we want to tell? So it's, it's, it's a very interesting process that I'm just starting to, we're starting to outline now and try to figure that stuff out. So. It's such a trick with biopics because when they're done right, it's amazing. And then sometimes when they're, when they're rushed, I know there's been certain ones, and I won't say which ones, but I wanted so much for them to be good, but it was so rushed, and like they were trying, and, and I yeah. saw, and then there's others that, I, I don't know where the magic is in that, but it's just done in such a way where you could just, you know, you, you feel like you are living that life, and, yeah. and so there's a real... Um, I think my favorite 
biopics are the ones that you really get to know the character and the motivations of what motivated him to do certain things. I feel like a lot of the biopics nowadays, they kind of get away with just telling you the facts. And it, I kind of, I feel like it's a cop out in a way. I'm like, what motivated this person? What to do the amazing things they did or, or, or terrible things that they did? What motivated them? That's what interests me um, as a film viewer. You know, so hopefully we can achieve those kinds of things, which aren't easy. A lot of people, they don't know what motivates them, you know, but as sometimes as an outsider, you can see it. So we'll see. You know, I, I hope it's a very three dimensional movie and that that it's a character piece as well as telling the facts of what happened in his life. So when you were a script reader, did you have any biopics? Come on to your I don't believe so. I don't believe I ever read a biopic and that was very much in the 2000s. Biopics weren't. Like there, like now, like everybody wants to do biopics, which is funny. Um, <clears throat> I didn't see myself doing a biopic um, at all, actually. I, I uh, there's a movie I wrote already. It's already written called Attachment Theory, and I saw me shooting that next. Um, it's about a guy, a low end mob guy, who basically works for his uncle and he collects money for people that owe money to his uncle, um, who works for the cartel. But he's very much like his uncle shields him from doing anything really bad. Uh, so he just kind of beats people up a little bit that owes them money. It's kind of like a Rocky character. And, but he needs money because his dad uh, needs a surgery and can't really walk. So he's in desperate need for money. So at a meeting with his uncle and some of the heads of the cartel, basically, he speaks out of turn because they need a guy to do a job. And he's like, I'll do the job, not knowing what the job is. So they hand him an address and he goes to East L.A. to... Um, to do this job, he doesn't even know what he's doing. He goes in this abandoned house and they've kidnapped a woman. And he has to watch the woman for three days, basically. And he watches the woman in this abandoned house and he ends up falling in love with the girl. And the problem is the kidnapping goes bad, they're gonna come back and kill her. So he has to make a choice either to save this woman's life and take on you know, the cartel and everybody that he knows or to kill the woman. And so of course he, he saves her and, and everything starts going crazy from there. But it's already written, I already have it written, and I want to shoot it. Um, and I will shoot it eventually. Um, I, I wrote it for me to also to play that guy. So, um, But that's, it's called Attachment Theory right now, but I, I have no idea what it will eventually be called because I'm not completely sold on that name. But that's the movie. Um, and I'll get around to making that eventually too.